Mitochondrial DNA, Wikipedia article audio Mitochondrial DNA is the DNA located in mitochondria, cellular organelles within eukaryotic cells that convert chemical energy from food into a form that cells can use, adenosine triphosphate. Mitochondrial DNA is only a small portion of the DNA in a eukaryotic cell. Most of the DNA can be found in the cell nucleus and, in plants and algae, also in plastids such as chloroplasts. Origin Mitochondrial inheritance Female inheritance The mitochondrial bottleneck Male inheritance Mitochondrial donation Structure Circular versus linear In mammals In plants In protists Genome diversity Animals Plants and fungi Protists Replication Transcription Mutations and disease Susceptibility Genetic illness Use in disease diagnosis Relationship with aging Correlation of the mtDNA base composition with animal's lifespan Relationship with non-bDNA structures Use in identification History In humans the 16,569 base pairs of mitochondrial DNA encode for only 37 genes. Human mitochondrial DNA was the first significant part of the human genome to be sequenced. In most species, including humans, mtDNA is inherited solely from the mother. Mitochondrial Sequence Databases Mitochondrial Mutation Databases Since animal mtDNA evolves faster than nuclear genetic markers, it represents a mainstay of phylogenetics and evolutionary biology. It also permits an examination of the relatedness of populations, and so has become important in anthropology and biogeography. Nuclear and mitochondrial DNA are thought to be of separate evolutionary origin, with the mtDNA being derived from the circular genomes of the bacteria that were engulfed by the early ancestors of today's eukaryotic cells. This theory is called the endosymbiotic theory. Each mitochondrion is estimated to contain two a euro 10 mtDNA copies. In the cells of extant organisms, the vast majority of the proteins present in the mitochondria are coded for by nuclear DNA, but the genes for some, if not most, of them are thought to have originally been of bacterial origin, having since been transferred to the eukaryotic nucleus during evolution. The reasons why mitochondria have retained some genes are debated. The existence in some species of mitochondrion-derived organelles lacking a genome suggests that complete gene loss is possible, and transferring mitochondrial genes to the nucleus has several advantages. The difficulty of targeting remotely produced hydrophobic protein products to the mitochondrion is one hypothesis for why some genes are retained in mtDNA, colocalization for redox regulation is another citing the desirability of localized control over mitochondrial machinery. Recent analysis of a wide range of mtDNA genomes suggests that both these features may dictate mitochondrial gene retention. In most multicellular organisms, mtDNA is inherited from the mother. Mechanisms for this include simple dilution, degradation of sperm mtDNA in the male genital tract, in the fertilized egg, and, at least in a few organisms, failure of sperm mtDNA to enter the egg. Whatever the mechanism, 
This single parent pattern of mtDNA inheritance is found in most animals, most plants, and in fungi as well. In sexual reproduction, mitochondria are normally inherited exclusively from the mother. The mitochondria in mammalian sperm are usually destroyed by the egg cell after fertilization. Also, most mitochondria are present at the base of the sperm's tail, which is used for propelling the sperm cells, sometimes the tail is lost during fertilization. In 1999 it was reported that paternal sperm mitochondria are marked with ubiquitin to select them for later destruction inside the embryo. Some in vitro fertilization techniques, particularly injecting a sperm into an oocyte, may interfere with this. The fact that mitochondrial DNA is maternally inherited enables genealogical researchers to trace maternal lineage far back in time. This is usually accomplished on human mitochondrial DNA by sequencing the hypervariable control regions, and sometimes the complete molecule of the mitochondrial DNA, as a genealogical DNA test. HVR1, for example, consists of about 440 base pairs. These 440 base pairs are then compared to the control regions of other individuals to determine maternal lineage. Most often, the comparison is made to the revised Cambridge reference sequence. Vila ETAL have published studies tracing the matrilineal descent of domestic dogs to wolves. The concept of the mitochondrial Eve is based on the same type of analysis attempting to discover the origin of humanity by tracking the lineage back in time. mtDNA is highly conserved, and its relatively slow mutation rates make it useful for studying the evolutionary relationships a euro phylogeny a euro of organisms. Biologists can determine and then compare mtDNA sequences among different species and use the comparisons to build an evolutionary tree for the species examined. However, due to the slow mutation rates it experiences, it is often hard to distinguish between closely related species to any large degree, so other methods of analysis must be used. Entities undergoing uniparental inheritance and with little to no recombination may be expected to be subject to Muller's ratchet, the accumulation of deleterious mutations until functionality is lost. Animal populations of mitochondria avoid this buildup through a developmental process known as the mtDNA bottleneck. The bottleneck exploits stochastic processes in the cell to increase in the cell-to-cell -cell variability in mutant load as an organism develops, a single egg cell with some proportion of mutant mtDNA thus produces an embryo where different cells have different mutant loads. Cell level selection may then act to remove those cells with more mutant mtDNA, leading to a stabilization or reduction in mutant load between generations. The mechanism underlying the bottleneck is debated, with a recent mathematical and experimental meta-study providing evidence for a combination of random partitioning of NAS at cell divisions and random turnover of mtDNA molecules within the cell. Doubly uniparental inheritance of mtDNA is observed in bivalve mollusks. In those species, females have only one type of mtDNA whereas males have F-type mtDNA in their somatic cells, but M-type of mtDNA in germline cells. Paternally inherited mitochondria have additionally been reported in some insects such as fruit flies, honeybees, and periodical cicadas. Male mitochondrial inheritance was recently discovered in Plymouth Rock chickens. Evidence supports rare instances of male mitochondrial inheritance in some mammals as well. Specifically, documented occurrences exist for mice, where the male inherited mitochondria were subsequently rejected. It has also been found in sheep, and in cloned cattle.
it has been found in a single case in a human male. Although many of these cases involve cloned embryos or subsequent rejection of the paternal mitochondria, others document in vivo inheritance and persistence under lab conditions. An IVF technique known as mitochondrial donation or mitochondrial replacement therapy results in offspring containing mtDNA from a donor female, and nuclear DNA from the mother and father. In the spindle transfer procedure, the nucleus of an egg is inserted into the cytoplasm of an egg from a donor female which has had its nucleus removed, but still contains the donor female's mtDNA. The composite egg is then fertilized with the male's sperm. The procedure is used when a woman with genetically defective mitochondria wishes to procreate and produce offspring with healthy mitochondria. The first known child to be born as a result of mitochondrial donation was a boy born to a Jordanian couple in Mexico on April 6, 2016. In most multicellular organisms, the mtDNA a euro or metogenome a euro is organized as a circular, covalently closed, double-stranded DNA. But in many unicellular and in rare cases also in multicellular organisms the mtDNA is found as linearly organized DNA. Most of these linear mtNAs possess telomerase independent telomeres with different modes of replication, which have made them interesting objects of research, as many of these unicellular organisms with linear mtDNA are known pathogens. For human mitochondrial DNA, 100A Euro 10,000 separate copies of mtDNA are usually present per somatic cell. In mammals, each double-stranded circular mtDNA molecule consists of 15,000A Euro 17,000 base pairs. The two strands of mtDNA are differentiated by their nucleotide content, with the guanine-rich strand referred to as the heavy strand and a cytosine-rich strand referred to as the light strand. The heavy strand encodes 28 genes, and the light strand encodes 9 genes for a total of 37 genes. Of the 37 genes, 13 are for proteins. 22 are for transfer RNA and 2 are for the small and large subunits of ribosomal RNA. The human metogenome contains overlapping genes, a feature that is rare in animal genomes. The 37 gene pattern is also seen among most metazoans, although in some cases one or more of these genes is absent and the mtDNA size range is greater. Great variation in mtDNA gene content and size exists among fungi and plants, although there appears to be a core subset of genes that are present in all eukaryotes. Some plant species have enormous mitochondrial genomes, with Silene conica mtDNA containing as many as 11,300,000 base pairs. Surprisingly, even those huge mtNAs contain the same number and kinds of genes as related plants with much smaller mtNAs. The genome of the mitochondrion of the cucumber consists of three circular chromosomes, which are entirely or largely autonomous with regard to their replication. The smallest mitochondrial genome sequenced to date is the 5,967 BP mtDNA of the parasite Plasmodium falciparum. There are six main genome types found in mitochondrial genomes. These genome types were classified by A. Eurokolsnikov and Gerasimov and differ in various ways such as a circular versus linear genome, genome size, the presence of introns or plasmid-like structures, and whether the genetic material is a singular molecule or collection of homogeneous or heterogeneous molecules. There is only one mitochondrial genome type found in animal cells. This genome usually contains one circular molecule with between 11A Euro 28 KBP of genetic material.
there are three different genome types found in plants and fungi. The first type is a circular genome that has introns and may range from 19 a euro 1000 kbp in length. The second genome type is a circular genome that also has a plasmid-like structure. The final genome type that can be found in plant and fungi is a linear genome made up of homogeneous DNA molecules. Protists contain the most diverse mitochondrial genomes, with five different types found in this kingdom. Type 2, Type 3, and Type 5 mentioned in the plant and fungal genomes also exists in some protist, as well as two unique genome types. The first of these is a heterogeneous collection of circular DNA molecules and the final genome type found in protists is a heterogeneous collection of linear molecules. Genome types 4 and 6 both range from 1 a euro 200 kbp in size. Endosymbiotic gene transfer, the process of genes that were coded in the mitochondrial genome being transferred to the cell's main genome likely explains why more complex organisms, such as humans, have smaller mitochondrial genomes than simpler organisms, such as protists. Mitochondrial DNA is replicated by the DNA polymerase gamma complex which is composed of a 140 kata catalytic DNA polymerase encoded by the POLG gene and 255 kata accessory subunits encoded by the POLG2 gene. The replisome machinery is formed by DNA polymerase, twinkle, and mitochondrial SSB proteins. Twinkle is a heli case which unwinds short stretches of DSDNA in the 5A Euro superscript 2 to 3A Euro superscript 2 direction. During embryogenesis, replication of mtDNA is strictly downregulated from the fertilized oocyte through the pre-implantation embryo. The resulting reduction in per cell copy number of mtDNA plays a role in the mitochondrial bottleneck exploiting cell-to-cell -cell variability to ameliorate the inheritance of damaging mutations. At the blastocyst stage, the onset of mtDNA replication is specific to the cells of the trough ectoderm. In contrast, the cells of the inner cell mass restrict mtDNA replication until they receive the signals to differentiate to specific cell types. In animal mitochondria, each DNA strand is transcribed continuously and produces a polycystronic RNA molecule. Between most protein coding regions, trnas are present. During transcription, the trnas acquire their characteristic L shape that gets recognized and cleaved by specific enzymes. With the mitochondrial RNA processing, individual mRNA, rRNA, and tRNA sequences are released from the primary transcript. Folded trnas therefore act as secondary structure punctuations. The concept that mtDNA is particularly susceptible to reactive oxygen species generated by the respiratory chain due to its proximity remains controversial. mtDNA does not accumulate any more oxidative base damage than nuclear DNA. It has been reported that at least some types of oxidative DNA damage are repaired more efficiently in mitochondria than they are in the nucleus. mtDNA is packaged with proteins which appear to be as protective as proteins of the nuclear chromatin. Moreover, mitochondria evolved a unique mechanism which maintains mtDNA integrity through degradation of excessively damaged genomes followed by replication of intact slash repaired mtDNA. This mechanism is not present in the nucleus and is enabled by multiple copies of mtDNA present in mitochondria the outcome of mutation in mtDNA may be an alteration in the coding instructions for some proteins which may have an effect on organism metabolism and slash or fitness.
Mutations of mitochondrial DNA can lead to a number of illnesses including exercise intolerance and Kearns-Euro Sayer syndrome, which causes a person to lose full function of heart, eye, and muscle movements. Some evidence suggests that they might be major contributors to the aging process and age-associated pathologies. Particularly in the context of disease, the proportion of mutant mtDNA molecules in a cell is termed heteroplasmy. The within-cell and between-cell distributions of heteroplasmy dictate the onset and severity of disease and are influenced by complicated stochastic processes within the cell and during development. Mutations in mitochondrial trinus can be responsible for severe diseases like the Mellas and Merf syndromes. Mutations in nuclear genes that encode proteins that mitochondria use can also contribute to mitochondrial diseases. These diseases do not follow mitochondrial inheritance patterns, but instead follow Mendelian inheritance patterns. Metosat plant, mitochondrial microsatellites database of Virida planti, Metobreak, the mitochondrial DNA breakpoints database. Metofish and Meto Annotator, a mitochondrial genome database of fish. See also Cawthorn ETAL, Metozoa 2.0, a database for comparative and evolutionary analyses of mitochondrial genomes in Metazoa, Intermetobase, an annotated database and analysis platform of protein protein interactions for human mitochondria, Mitomy a database for comparative mitochondrial genomics in metazoan animals, Metores, a resource of nuclear-encoded mitochondrial genes and their products in metazoa. Mitomap, a compendium of polymorphisms and mutations in human mitochondrial DNA, MITI Impact, a collection of pre-computed pathogenicity predictions for all nucleotide changes that cause non-synonymous substitutions in human mitochondrial protein coding genes. Recently a mutation in mtDNA has been used to help diagnose prostate cancer in patients with negative prostate biopsy. Though the idea is controversial, some evidence suggests a link between aging and mitochondrial genome dysfunction. In essence, mutations in mtDNA upset a careful balance of reactive oxygen species production and enzymatic ROS scavenging. However, some mutations that increase ROS production in worms increase, rather than decrease, their longevity. Also, naked mole rats rodents about the size of mice, live about eight times longer than mice despite having reduced, compared to mice, antioxidant defenses and increased oxidative damage to biomolecules. Once, there was thought to be a positive feedback loop at work, as mitochondrial DNA accumulates genetic damage caused by free radicals, the mitochondria lose function and leak free radicals into the cytosol. A decrease in mitochondrial function reduces overall metabolic efficiency. However, this concept was conclusively disproved when it was demonstrated that mice, which were genetically altered to accumulate mtDNA mutations at accelerated rate do age prematurely, but their tissues do not produce more ROS as predicted by the vicious cycle hypothesis. Supporting a link between longevity and mitochondrial DNA, some studies have found correlations between biochemical properties of the mitochondrial DNA and the longevity of species. Extensive research is being conducted to further investigate this link and methods to combat aging. Presently, gene therapy and nutraceutical supplementation are popular areas of ongoing research. Zhlakovic ETAL analyzed the results of 78 studies between 1977 and 2012, involving a total of 296,707 participants, 
and concluded that antioxidant supplements do not reduce all-cause mortality nor extend lifespan, while some of them, such as beta-carotene, vitamin E, and higher doses of vitamin A, may actually increase mortality. Over the past decade, an Israeli research group led by Professor Vadim Freyfeld has shown that extraordinarily strong and significant correlations exist between the mtDNA base composition and animal species specific maximum life spans. As demonstrated in their work, higher mtDNA guanine and cytosine content strongly associates with longer maximum life spans across animal species. An additional astonishing observation is that the mtDNA GC% percent correlation with the maximum life spans is independent of the well-known correlation between animal species metabolic rate and maximum life spans. The mtDNA GC% percent and resting metabolic rate explain the differences in animal species maximum life spans in a multiplicative manner. To support the scientific community in carrying out comparative analyses between mtDNA features and longevity across animals, a dedicated database was built named MetoAge. Deletion breakpoints frequently occur within or near regions showing non-canonical conformations, namely hairpins, cruciforms and cloverleaf-like elements. Moreover, there is data supporting the involvement of helix-distorting intrinsically curved regions and long G-tetrads in eliciting instability events. In addition, higher breakpoint densities were consistently observed within GC-skewed regions and in the close vicinity of the degenerate sequence motif YMMYMNNMMHM. Recently was found that all mitochondrial genomes sequenced so far contain many of inverted repeats necessary for cruciform DNA formation and these loci are particularly enriched in replication origin sites, D-loops and stem loops. Unlike nuclear DNA, which is inherited from both parents and in which genes are rearranged in the process of recombination, there is usually no change in mtDNA from parent to offspring. Although mtDNA also recombines, it does so with copies of itself within the same mitochondrion. Because of this and because the mutation rate of animal mtDNA is higher than that of nuclear DNA, mtDNA is a powerful tool for tracking ancestry through females and has been used in this role to track the ancestry of many species back hundreds of generations. The rapid mutation rate makes mtDNA useful for assessing genetic relationships of individuals or groups within a species and also for identifying and quantifying the phylogeny among different species. To do this, Biologists determine and then compare the mtDNA sequences from different individuals or species. Data from the comparisons is used to construct a network of relationships among the sequences, which provides an estimate of the relationships among the individuals or species from which the mtNAs were taken. mtDNA can be used to estimate the relationship between both closely related and distantly related species. Due to the high mutation rate of mtDNA in animals, the third positions of the codons change relatively rapidly, and thus provide information about the genetic distances among closely related individuals or species. On the other hand, the substitution rate of MT proteins is very low, thus amino acid changes accumulate slowly and thus they provide information about the genetic distances of distantly related species. Statistical models that treat substitution rates among codon positions separately, can thus be used to simultaneously estimate phylogenies that contain both closely and distantly related species. Mitochondrial DNA was admitted into evidence for the first time ever in 1996 during State of Tennessee v. Paul Ware. In the 1998 court case of Commonwealth of Pennsylvania v. Patricia Lynn Rohrer, 
mitochondrial DNA was admitted into evidence in the state of Pennsylvania for the first time. The case was featured in episode 55 of season 5 of the true crime drama series Forensic Files. Mitochondrial DNA was first admitted into evidence in California in the successful prosecution of David Westerfield for the 2002 kidnapping and murder of seven-year-old Danielle Van Dam in San Diego, it was used for both human and dog identification. This was the first trial in the U.S. to admit canine DNA. The remains of King Richard III were identified by comparing his mtDNA with that of two matrilineal descendants of his sister. Mitochondrial DNA was discovered in the 1960s by Margit M. K. Nass and Sylvan Nass by electron microscopy as DNA-sensitive threads inside mitochondria, and by Ellen Hasselbrunner. Hans Tuppy and Gottfried Schatz by biochemical assays on highly purified mitochondrial fractions. Several specialized databases have been founded to collect mitochondrial genome sequences and other information. Although most of them focus on sequence data, some of them include phylogenetic or functional information. Several specialized databases exist that report polymorphisms and mutations in the human mitochondrial DNA, together with the assessment of their pathogenicity.